which are safe cutting boards? Cutting boards can be very safe, but they can also be real bacteria motels. The most important thing about any kind of cutting board is that it be smooth, not cracked, and not scratched. Wooden cutting boards, bamboo cutting boards, once they're cracked, once they're badly scratched, they need to be taken out of the kitchen. The nice thing, the good thing about wooden cutting boards is that your sanitizer, your washing, can penetrate and help move the bacteria out of the fibers and up to the surface, or the sanitizer will penetrate and kill them. Plastic cutting boards are fine until they get badly cracked or scratched, then they too need to be taken out of the kitchen. And with plastic cutting boards, you need to be more careful with the scratches because your sanitizer can't penetrate. The bacteria can be under the surface, survive, and then the next time you cut across that, bring those bacteria back up to the surface. Glass or ceramic cutting boards are great, except that they are really hard on your knives. You'll end up with dull knives much faster with a glass or ceramic cutting board. Whichever kind of cutting board you have, they need to be washed, rinsed, and sanitized regularly, especially after you've used any raw meat with them. Your plastic cutting boards, your glass cutting boards, they're fine going into the dishwasher. Your wooden cutting board should not go into the dishwasher and should not soak. You wash them with your soapy water, rinse them well, let them dry slightly, sanitize them, and then once a month, once a week, depending on how much you use it, it's a good idea to give them a rub down with mineral oil. Mineral oil will help keep the fibers swollen so that the bacteria can't penetrate and help prevent the cracking. For more fast answers to safe food questions, check out our other FAQs on our website, hillsborough.ifas.ufl.edu, and search on safe food.